Quintana. I thought his first five innings were the best innings he's thrown in a Mets uniform until the three-run home run from Jimenez in the sixth. So Mookie Betts leading off. Mookie in game one had two hits. And Betts flies one along the right field line. Marte over near the side wall, and he has enough room to make the catch. Now Will Smith, who went 0 for 5 in the opener and struck out twice, caught the first game. DH in the second game. He's been the best hitter in baseball against lefties this year. Takes a 2 1 to left field. To the wall is Nimmo. He looks up. It is gone. Right on cue for you, EK. Seventh of the year for Will Smith. The Dodgers strike first. You just got done mentioning how he was 4 for 28 and. What you were going to follow up with, that means he's due, right? That means he's due. And again, you're not going to keep this offense down. Now, Freddie doing what Freddie does, shooting one the other way, down the line, into the corner. Freddie Freeman stays hot. That's double number 16. And he don't want this day to end. No, sir, right? Maybe play a third game, huh? He didn't want to quit dancing. Look at He was still dancing. Hit Clayton McCullough, first base coach, was right up behind him. He said, oh, wait, yeah, I got another move to make. Fourth hit of the day. Three for his last three. Kike Hernandez starting game two against the left handed Quintana. 2 2 pitch hit on the ground to short. In the get it, Lindor. Throws to first in time, side retired. In the first inning, the Dodgers scored a run on two hits. They leave one, and in the middle of the first inning, Gavin Stone faced the Mets once this year. That was on the 20th of April at Dodger Stadium. No decision, only went three and a third. Gave up two earned on four hits. Five walks, the big number that jumped out. Puts Lindor away. A fastball at the top of the zone. Gamma working quickly. Called strike three. We got Lindor and a fastball into the change to punch out Alonzo. Here's the wind to kick the pitch. Nemo swings and strikes out. And a very auspicious beginning for Gavin Stone as he strikes out the side to start the bottom of the first inning. Back at City Field, the Dodgers leading the Mets 1 0. Andy Pajes leads off in the second inning against Jose Quintana. Pajes shoots one over the head of Alonzo. He's not going to get there. Dumps down for a base hit. Pajes not much to show in the first game, although his last at bat hit it, do a double play, absolutely scorched the ball. He's rewarded for making contact. And as we always like to say, it all evens out. Miguel Rojas with one and one out. Rojas only played one game in Cincinnati, went over three. Quintana kicks and fires one home, and this ball is hit to center field and pretty deep. It's going to carry and go to the wall. Around second is Paez. He's going to get waved home, and the throw coming to the plate, and he slides. He's safe. It's a double for Rojas over the center fielder, Harrison Bader's head. He gets the run in. It's 2 0 Dodger. Well, it may have been partially the win, but Bader did not read that ball off the bat very well at all. He took a step, step and a half in, then went back and not full speed going back. He normally covers a lot more ground than that. And some of the Mets come up to me, Tim, in between games is this fellow Pajes. Boy, can he run. In the bottom of the third with a 2 0 lead. Gavin Stone. Stone's 3 2. Swing and a miss, strike three. Fourth strikeout for Gavin Stone. Two down in the third. The 1 1. Fisted the other way in the air down the left field line. That's a fair ball base hit. Vargas over to field and fire in. Lindor a big turn, but he backpedals his way to first. And brings up Pete Alonso. Would be the tying run here, bottom three. Mets down 2 0. There goes Lindor for second. Pitch is right down the middle. Called strike three. And Alonso doesn't like it, but that was right down the middle. That's 0 for 2 so far tonight. Like to see the Dodgers get a few more. There's a ground ball through the hole, a base hit. That's a seeing eye base hit. Third baseman Vientos diving for it to his left, and Lindor diving to his right, and the ball found a hole and got through into left field for a single. Make it three for four against lefties. It's a rocket base hit to right field. Will Smith goes first to third. Freddie, who had been struggling coming in, has been rollicking today. As he generally does against the Mets. So that's Oscar Hernandez with first and third and two out. Hernandez 0 for 2 in this game after three hits in the opener. Hernandez hits it in the air to center, not deep. Bader there makes the two hand catch, side retired. No runs, two hits, no errors, two left, middle of the fifth. Stone looks like he's settled in. He's throwing strikes, getting ahead. Oh, yeah, that's three. There you have it. Number seven for Gavin Stone. New season, new career high. Grounded to Mookie. 
Took his time reading that comes in to throw Bader out. Gavin Stone on cruise control. Miguel Vargas trying to get something going here. 0 for 2 tonight. Miguel Vargas ripped to left field. That's gone. How good does that feel for Vargi? The dugout might be more pumped than him. His first home run in the big leagues in a long while. And now a 3 0 lead. Yeah, I was just thinking as he was going up there, this is his third at bat against Quintana. So he's seen a bunch of pitches and he's got some information. There's nobody on out there, so he's not stressing. I got to get a hit or anything. Here's DJ Stewart is 0 for 2 in this game. This one's ripped in the air to right again. Hayward coming in, slides, makes the catch. And fires in Nimmo back to first. The second baseman, Miguel Rojas, pointing at Hayward, clapping his hands. Jason Hayward. Got a great break on it. And the backhand. Lead off single from Nimmo, one on, one out. And more work for Jay Hay. Marte finds his glove, two down. Rookie Betts goes back and gets the third out. So Stone strands the leadoff single. Six pitches to finish seven. And here we go to the eighth. Daniel Nunez begins his second inning of relief. And Hernandez strikes out on the slider from Nunez, and that's his second strikeout. And the slider in for a call third strike. So Pahe is caught looking, and Nunez has three strikeouts in a row. 2-2 Two -two coming to Hayward. And he bounces one on the right side. McNeil shuffles over. And Nunez with a 1 2 3 eighth inning. He's throwing two scoreless. Mets down 3 0. Six outs to get. Alex Vesia, the first out of the bullpen, taking the place of Gavin Stone. Sky off the bat of McNeil. Pius has the ball. One away. Dodgers ahead by three. Yes. Strike three, swinging. Vesia's reaction that visit. Yes. Yeah, big K for Vesey. He's got to get that out right there. Two down. Bottom of the eighth. And Lindor hits a high fly ball to center field. Playable for Andy Pajes. Can of corn for him. And that'll retire the side. No runs, no hits. One left. He has one save this season. And six of this month uh, against the Marlins. Tap right side. Freddie needs no help. Shoulders a slump. It's been a long day uh, for the offense. There's a great deal of frustration in that Mets dugout. Swing and a miss, strike three. Fastball inside, and Nimmo couldn't get around on it. And now the Mets down to their final out. That's another win for LA. They sweep the doubleheader and clinch the series in Queens. Great day for the Dodgers. I'll tell you. Going into that eighth inning in game one, it did not look like things were going to be good today. But the Dodgers, they stuck with it, turned things around.